Okay guys, let's get started. Let's draw a logo using this open source software called Creator. Select the new file and then you can select create. Once you have done that, you're good to go. You're in the Creator interface uh, where you can start your drawing. So this is actually a very nice software which is actually my favorite. So once you've done this, you could actually delete the uh, initial layer that is there. Yeah, just to make that transparent. And then you could add multiple layers. I've added three. Once you've done that, you could actually select on the color sector to a darker blue color. And then you could drop some paint. You can do this by pressing F and then uh, uh, selecting the blank space. So once you've done this, you have made a darker background. So let's do some digital drawing. Once you've done that, you can select the digital on the uh, brush uh, category and then select that uh, brush. The, that is my favorite brush. That is my favorite brush. I can never go anywhere without it. So um, on the left tab, you can select that too. And, and then um, um, also select on the color too. And then also adjust the uh, stroke size. Where I prefer using 2.9 or 3.5 uh, brush stroke. So once you've done this, it's, you're, you're literally good to go. Um, okay, sorry about that, but you can save the Brazer uh, Curve 2, um, it helps uh, with uh, drawing precise lines. So I don't have a drawing type of line now, I just use my usual mouse on the keyboard um, on my PC. So um, this helps me to be precise because you know what, if I don't have a drawing type it doesn't mean that I don't have to draw. So this is what I do. We're going to make a logo which is um, which is going to uh, to be a samurai um, a logo, a samurai themed logo. So this is what I'm doing. This is kind of hard for me. Uh, I'm making it hard for the samurai. So you see where this will actually be going. So there, I was zooming in and zooming out using uh, my mouse wheel, rolling it and rolling back. So again, I'm I'm using. I have added a new layer that you have seen. I've added a new layer where I'm gonna try to um, draw something there on the new layer because I don't want it to conflict with the, uh, the second, uh, the second to the last, uh, the second layer that I I was drawing on. So I'm drawing on the third layer. Okay, guys. The thing about this brazer to um, the reason why I love it so much. It's um, the reason why I love the brazer to so much. It's because it helps me to be precise. It helps me to be precise. So in a way, I don't have to. In a way, I don't have to uh, stress myself because all I could do is just select. All I could do. All I could do is just select a line, and all I could do is just select a line. Sorry for the background noise. My mom is talking. <laughs> Okay, so all I could do is just um, select a line. Uh, once I've selected something, uh, I'll just, you know, bend it somewhere. And, and, and where I'm going, once I connect the lines, that's what happens. That's the magic that happens. Literally, it just transforms, it just, it just um, becomes film, and then I have made uh, a drawing. So, I am creating, uh, there I'm creating a hand. You could actually see uh, a guy, a samurai guy, he's taking shape. I know it takes time, it takes patience, but if you're watching this, I'm very much sure you could get a copy of Krita and make your own logo because this is awesome. You don't have to miss out on this because logos, really, what about, what, what about them? What about logos? Well, logos are the pinnacle of artistic uh, genius styles. You know, logos will take us, uh, you ta will take your drawing talent, logos will take your drawing talent, uh, far beyond the Milky Way Galaxy. I'm just telling you the truth, really. If you could just Google how much logos are worth, you get excited, you get goosebumps because logos are worth the effort of you learning how to do them. So I'm glad you're here on my channel. I'm glad you're I'm glad you're watching this video right now. I'm glad um, um, you're following through if you are following through. But if you're finding some things a little bit hard and difficult, don't worry. I have a bunch of videos you can get. just go back and refer to or some, some videos I've well explained. So we have just done our we have just done our sword and I'm going to create that kind of uh, skate which uh, all samurai have. So this is actually for his um, her, um, from his for his legs. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, create a software is among the best softwares I've ever worked with. Of course, I love Brenda. Of course, I love the other things. But then, create a software for me tops Photoshop. Why do I say this? Create a software for me tops Photoshop because create a software is orometry made for drawing. And what do you do with logos? Logos you draw, you design. 
um, Photoshop was meant for picture editing. So anyway, I think I would recommend uh, you as an artist to use Ink Express and also uh, create a software if, if you wanna yeah, if you wanna get um, uh, anywhere uh, with this. So. Let me just speed this process up. I think I've talked a lot, so I'm just gonna uh, speed this process up. You're seeing the way I'm, I'm, I'm doing the outline. I think you could actually get a copy of this uh, picture if you want to do some referencing because it always helps to be looking at something whenever you're drawing. But that is that is me uh, being me and 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 and, and drawing. Uh, and uh, creating a drawing of the legs uh, of our samurai, so it has taken it has taken us uh, just a minimum number of um, minutes, a minimum amount of minutes. It has taken us a minimum amount of minutes. So I think, oh, I'm I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna speed this up. I think I'm done. I think I'm done um, with with uh, creating the outline. So it's all a matter of now painting. So I mean, whenever you're coloring uh, on creator, I uh, Okay, so um, let, let's just stop that off because it's uh, um, it's it's affecting how uh, our summary is supposed to, to to be looking. So what I did there was I selected the eraser to um, I just turned my usual brush to become an eraser. That's why that's how I'm rubbing off uh, the excess lines. Um. Okay, so I. Th I think at now, uh, right now, it, it looks okay. It looks legit. It looks okay. So let's select the on the left side of our left side of our um, tools. Uh, select a, a, a line selector tool, which this will help us to isolate the colors that we want to um, the colors that we want to isolate and color um, and color because. I usually use this method when coloring uh, because um, it helps me to have more control. It helps me to know where I'm going. It helps me to to to, to drop paint uh, precisely because without this, really, you you will struggle much because whatever you'll be doing, um, the ink will just be flowing off uh, the 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 outline that you made. So you can press F on the keyboard or add a new layer and then drop it downwards like that one, like, like that because you you want the um, you want the ink to, to, to flow well. So once you've done that, you could actually select this select, uh, select it, a triangle, select the rectangle or square. I don't know. Select the rectangle or square uh, to drop ink inside. So, or you could also adjust uh, the brush uh, tool and then just uh, paint everywhere. Because uh, once you you have isolated a certain part. It becomes easy to paint where, where, wherever you're going with the uh, stroke. Uh, you you could always be sure that it'll paint right. Did I know You always be sure that it'll paint right in the selected isolated box. So right there, I could draw paint anywhere, anyhow, and anytime, and the, the outcome will still be perfect. So you're seeing that uh, uh, the samurai is taking shape. I'm just going for uh, white right now, and I hope you maybe you'll be going for the same color based on the background that you have made, or you'll be going for something very strong, for something very uh, different, for something that is uh, totally your own concept. Uh, but this is the kind of uh, this is the basic that that I'm, I'm going with. Uh, once I'm done with this, you kind of see a beautiful samurai logo that will actually fit in somewhere, and people will be like, "Wow, I think this is worth a hundred dollars." I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I should just put a price tag on anything that you make. Just put a price tag on anything that you make, and you will be amazed. Okay, let's just speed this process up because you've gotten the gist, and I can't keep on talking forever. I'm li I'm literally sick. So I can keep on telling forever. So I'm just try, gonna try to speed this up and stop for uh, for a brief while on the shading process.
guys I uh, guys we're back now we're doing the shading so it's the same technique really it's literally the same technique the same brother too you can just uh, uh, retrace your drawing where you want a car literally what I'm doing here you know what I'm showing you here so if you can check on the left side that is this I've uh, selected the uh, the brother tool and once I connect and that wonderful 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 doubt I means I've isolated the space and I've added a new layer there and I would adjust the color to the color that will suit my uh, the color that will suit my drawing if I'm shading I'm giving you color I'm giving you, I'm giving it life so this is the base part of drawing for me so I've done this I'll go again on the uh, left tab and select the select uh, selection brother tool and then uh, I will also isolate another area where I think I could actually shade so this is the process you go by retracing whatever it is that you draw I, I, I know that what you made is more beautiful than maybe what I'm drawing or I bit I agree but hey we we are already in here so Anyways, I believe it's gonna be something of an, an uh, um, it's gonna help you to evolve your skills when it comes to creating logos using this awesome soft software called awesome open source software called Krita. So once you connect that, yeah, that's a magic part. That's a magic part. Once you link that up, you could actually select another color and then drop some paint. Uh, so I made a mistake there, so I was just gonna undo a little and 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 go back to the uh, you know color select a triangle and, and and do another what uh, select another car so that was what I was doing I'm gonna speed this process up again because you know it's the same basic process for everything completely everything once you're in this gist you understand that you really your 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 own or your own it uh to, to 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 make it to make it in life you only to make it in life to make uh, the logo thing happen so anyway i'm gonna speed this up because it's literally the same boiling process until you're done we're done with the shading and you're kind of wondering what uh, I was doing here well I'll just you on what I was doing I was just adding some you know unnecessary visual effects you know VFX um, effects to make uh, the samurai look a little bit cooler so I just selected the uh, line tool and uh, I'll just select the circle tool and then just made something like a a sign that maybe he's uh, his sword was perishing, but um, I, I thought the thing that looked a little cooler than this was um, doing that and make, making the uh, the circle to to do, to be something of uh, a light. Uh, so that is what you could do once you just select the layer to to, to have um um oh God, I'm stammering. Okay, to have um, a light a lightning effect. So yeah, that's what how to say it. A lighting effect. So I was just trying multiple stuff. You know, whenever you're drawing, whenever you're designing, you you are liberty to freestyle. Uh, however, uh, you want things to be. So I did that, and uh, it never really fit uh, into place. And I was like, ah, I think after this, I would do something that is different. So I. Uh, went on to to brainstorm what I had to do. Hey, all right. So here you just go on the uh, VFX brush to select a tool, select a a, a color that you want to um, to select, and then once you've done that, you will have that light uh, that light effect right there. So um and you could also add some text if you want to add some text. But on on this particular uh, version of the logo. It lady didn't suit. Um, a lady didn't suit when I added text. So once let's say you're done with everything, you could actually save. Don't forget to save. You could save by pressing Control S on the keyboard and 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 then selecting the format that you want to save this form. And once you're done with that, you could actually save. So I was trying to put some text on the logo, but it didn't really suit well. So um, I. I think maybe what you design could actually be more beautiful than mine. Uh, I prefer it when people watch my tutorials and come out the best, come out the best more more than me. So it's a very, um, it's something that I, I recommend a lot to, um, that you should do and challenge me to do something that is more unique than what I've done on my own. So this is um, I was trying to I said where I want the samurai 
to um, Samurai uh, was or uh, takes to, to, to be and, and it didn't really suit well so I was just thinking okay once you've done this once you've done everything up that, that's what I'm saying you need to save so here we have done everything so we need to save you can save as a creator document and, and also you could actually save as a PNG which you're going to use as a picture or you can be transparent you can be whatever version you want it to save so but this is the gist on how you could actually create your very own logo using creator I hope that you subscribe to my channel because I'll be uploading a lot more cool stuff more cooler than this and um I hope you'll be learning with me throughout and um, uh, we'll be able to create uh, good logos. Thank you guys.